this is an extremely important uh, side event. It's all about ending the AIDS epidemic and working on a very important group, adolescents. If we neglect this age group, we would not be able to achieve our objective of ending the AIDS epidemic by 2030. Debemos avanzar en la igualdad de género y en el empoderamiento y autonomía de las mujeres para asegurar que las niñas y mujeres jóvenes tomen decisiones autónomas sobre su propia salud y sean capaces de vivir libres de toda forma de violencia. It is the issues of social justice. How we really uh, can uh, forget about uh, almost half of the population of the world and not place them at the center of our response. It is uh, certainly uh, not just uh, issues of uh, social justice, but it is also a issues of uh, gender equality. It is a issues of recovering dignity of people. Prevalecen patrones culturales de desigualdad e inequidad que afectan la situación de las niñas, de las adolescentes y las mujeres frente al VIH. Eh, hemos avanzado bastante, pero si no corregimos estas circunstancias, podríamos tener menos efectos de los, de los que nosotros deseamos tener. So, whilst I was growing up, like uh, many young girls, I had lots of hopes and dreams. And uh, one of my hopes was, um, you know, to, to have four, four children. But then when I got diagnosed, um, I kind of thought that that was the end of my dream of becoming a mother. However, after I had received the information and the support that I needed, and also met other women living with HIV, I realized that with the right interventions, I could have an HIV negative child. Despite the wonderful interventions, um, quite a number of challenges still exist for women today. We have tools to prevent and to treat HIV, and so we have the tools to really get us to zero. However, we need a combined holistic approach that supports women beyond pregnancy. And it is also crucial that us women living with HIV are involved in these interventions throughout, right from the design to the development to the delivery. Please involve us. We have the skills, the expertise, and the knowledge to make a huge impact. HIV AIDS has devastating consequences on the life of adolescents and young girls. And we know that women and girls are crucial to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. And in order to achieve that potential they have, we have to achieve ending the AIDS epidemic. Tant que les hommes ne seront pas impliqués dans le traitement, tant que les époux ou les partenaires refuseront d'accompagner les femmes, d'accompagner, de se faire dépister, il est certain que nous aurons beaucoup de mal à maintenir donc, la, la zéro infection auquel nous adhérons tous. Because we can't actually end the HIV or TB epidemics unless we address this age group, as has been said. TB is the leading killer of people with HIV, and so TB and HIV are going to go together with adolescent girls and young women. We must not forget that this is also an issue of human rights and a question of democracy, since we need to overcome inequalities, namely gender gaps. The whole of society must be involved in participation at all levels. It's a precondition for maintaining and rising success. We need to surround adolescent girls and young women with support and services in every part of their lives. And that is why I launched the cross-cutting initiative last year called The Future She Deserves, with one of its key pillars focused on adolescent girls. We need to have an honest conversation about how we view and treat women in our societies. And this conversation needs to happen in every country on this planet, including my own. But adolescence is also an ideal point to leverage development and diplomacy efforts to break the cycles of poverty and violence, to keep girls in school, to invest in their future. And if you join me in doing so, I am confident that we can put women and girls on the fast track to ending the AIDS epidemic in the very near future. Thank you very much.